Bo Katan Cries was a Mandalorian human female born into House Cries. Over her life, she became a lieutenant in the Death Watch terrorist group, the commanding officer of its Night Owl subdivision, the leader of the Mandalore Resistance, and even the Mandalore who laid claim over all of her homeworld, the planet Mandalore. Her complicated history was tied to that of her sister, Satine, who ruled as the Duchess of Mandalore but advocated for pacifistic teachings, which brought the two siblings into conflict. Cries believed that Mandalore should take pride in its martial history and thus immediately joined Death Watch, a splinter group of those who believed in Mandalore's warrior past and opposed the new pacifist government. After Governor Pre Vishla of Concordia was publicly exposed as the leader of Death Watch, the splinter group was exiled from the Mandalore system. In 19 BBY, Cries and Vishla discovered the Sith Lords Maul and Savage Opress. With the Sith, they plotted to reclaim Mandalore, and through Maul's planning, united several criminal syndicates to form the Shadow Collective. Launching a takeover of Mandalore, Satine's rule was overthrown, and Vishla took control of the planet. However, Maul challenged Pre Vishla, and the Sith Lord defeated him, taking the throne and appointing Prime Minister Almec as a puppet leader, ushering in the post Vishla era. Cries and a group of Mandalorian loyalists refused to recognize Maul's rule, and they liberated Satine from the royal prison, contacting Jedi Master Obi Wan Kenobi for help. Due to Mandalore's neutrality, Kenobi was forced to come alone, and he was captured by Maul, who then killed Satine. When Kenobi was brought to the prison, Cries and her rebels freed the Jedi, and Mandalore was swept into a civil war as Maul's forces fought to reclaim him. Before Kenobi left the planet, Cries requested that the Galactic Republic be informed of the events, hoping that a Republic invasion would result in Maul's death. Less than a year later, Cries's desire was fulfilled, and the Republic laid siege to Mandalore, driving Maul from the planet. She then became Lady of House Cries and Regent of Mandalore. However, she lost her position when she refused to follow the newly appointed Galactic Emperor Palpatine, and Clan Saxon took over. During the ensuing occupation of Mandalore, the Republic reorganized into the Galactic Empire, and a new wave of violence claimed the planet. In 2 BBY, Clan Wren of Cronus chose to resist the Empire, leading the Imperial Loyalists of Clan Saxon to fight them. These actions threw Mandalore into another civil war. During the war, Cries encountered Countess Ursa Wren and Sabine Wren of Clan Wren, who were seeking a Mandalorian worthy of wielding the Darksaber and claiming the title of Mandalore. With the Wren's approval, Cries took the weapon and rallied the support of several Mandalorian clans, uniting them to fight against the Empire. However, her support was not universal, as she had accepted the Darksaber as a gift instead of winning it in combat. Her rule proved to be short-lived when the Empire managed to lay waste to Mandalore and its people in the Night of a Thousand Tears, with Cries additionally losing the Darksaber to Moff Gideon. In the aftermath what came to be known as the Great Purge, Cries formulated a plan to reclaim the weapon from the Moff and return to Mandalore. On Trask, Cries joined fellow Mandalorians Axewoves and Koska Reeves to hijack a shipment of weapons aboard an Imperial Gozanti class cruiser. Before assaulting the transport, however, Cries, Woves, and Reeves rescued unknowing member of the children of the Watch Din Jaren and the Force-sensitive youngling Grogu from a fishing boat. With Jaren's help, they successfully managed to steal the weapons and capture the Gozanti cruiser they were being transported in for use in reclaiming Mandalore. Later, Jaren recruited Cries and Reeves to help him rescue Grogu who had been captured by Moff Gideon and was being held aboard his light cruiser. With the help of Reeves, assassin Fennec Shand, Marshal Carisanthia June, and former bounty hunter Boba Fett, Cries successfully captured the light cruiser's bridge. Although the victory secured her control over the light cruiser, Jaren returned with a rescued Grogu and Gideon in stun cuffs, having accidentally claimed Darksaber by defeating Gideon, thereby making him the rightful ruler of Mandalore. Cries refused to take the Darksaber from Jaren despite him willingly relinquishing it to her, having grown fearful thanks to her past. 